We've got breaking news out of the NFL where 49ers star Christian McCaffrey has been ruled out for Sunday's game against the Vikings. The All-Pro tailback will miss a second straight game with calf and Achilles injuries. Now with CMC out, Jordan Mason will once again get the start in the backfield for the Niners. Mason ran for a career-high 147 yards and a touchdown in San Francisco's season-opening win against the Jets. Now when asked about whether putting Christian McCaffrey on the IR is an option, here's what Kyle Shanahan had to say. Uh, it's something we're considering now. Yeah, yesterday was his worst day. Um, it's on and off, but with it, yesterday having the most pain, um, something we're going to be discussing here in the next 24 hours. All right, that's tough to hear for fantasy owners that have Christian McCaffrey. Let's talk about it with Heath Cummings. You certainly do not want to hear that's something we're considering, putting him on the IR. Yesterday was his worst day. Worst day. So we'll talk about it, Heath, long term. And then this week, week two, what do you do? Because obviously we want to think, hey, Jordan Mason, that is the answer. But if you have CMC in your lineup, what do you do for week two in this matchup with the Vikings? Yeah, we can start with the positive. If you have Jordan Mason, congratulations. You have a must-start <laughs> running back. He's top 15 in all formats, top 10 in non-PPR and half-PPR throw a party. If you have Christian McCaffrey, it really depends on what type of league you're playing in and what your record is. If you get to Tuesday in a redraft league and you're 0-2, my suggestion would be Go shop Christian McCaffrey to every team that's 2-0. and Take the best deal. Otherwise, your season is about over. If you're in a dynasty or a keeper league, then maybe I'm trying to hold on to Christian McCaffrey until he comes back, scores three touchdowns in a game, and then sell him for future draft picks. But the fact of the matter is, if you draft a guy at the 101 and he doesn't play the first two weeks of the season and he might be going on IR, it is full-blown panic mode unless you were fortunate enough to have him back backed up with Jordan Mason and then Jordan Mason's just gonna be like 90% of Christian McCaffrey and everything's still awesome. Yeah so the folks that have Jordan Mason they're just hoping for another performance that they saw from him against the Jets. Let's talk say I mean worst case here Heath if he does go on the IR and you do have Christian McCaffrey and that was your number one overall pick um, what do you do how do you approach that situation for the rest of the season I know we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves but we have to consider those options based off of what Shannon's hand just said. Yeah, I mean, it's it's obviously a lot easier if you have an IR spot in your league. And even if you don't, you have no choice but to hold Christian McCaffrey. I think like the only way that you can legitimately keep him on your roster is if you can stay close to 500 without him. If you can't, you've got to go and try to trade him to a team that started. And I, I don't think you should trade him thinking you're going to get 90% on the 90 cents on the dollar. I'm not sure you're going to get 80 cents on the dollar. But if you're 0-2 and your best player is not playing, it doesn't really matter. You've got to find a way to make a deal.